Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and a clean and renewable source of energy. It only produces water as a byproduct when it is used to power vehicles or devices. However, hydrogen has not been widely adopted as an alternative to fossil fuels or batteries because of its challenges in storage, cost, and safety. Hydrogen gas is highly flammable and requires high pressure tanks or low temperature liquefaction to store it. This limits its efficiency and convenience for transportation and refueling. But what if there was a way to store hydrogen in a paste that could be easily carried and refilled? That's what a research team in Dresden has developed. A magnesium-based power paste that can store 10 times more hydrogen energy than a lithium battery. This means that hydrogen fuel cell vehicles could travel longer distances and recharge faster with this power paste. We will explain how this power paste works, what are its advantages and disadvantages, and what are its potential applications and future plans. Hydrogen is the simplest and lightest element in the world. It has only one proton and one electron in its atom, and it can bond with almost any other element. However, this simplicity and lightness also make hydrogen hard to find and use on Earth. Hydrogen is so light that it escapes the Earth's gravity and floats into space. Most of the hydrogen on Earth is in the form of compounds, such as water or methane. To use hydrogen as a fuel or energy source, we need to separate it from these compounds, which is a complex and costly process. Hydrogen can be extracted from various sources, such as natural gas, oil, coal, and water. However, each source has its own advantages and disadvantages in terms of cost, efficiency, and environmental impact. The most common source of hydrogen is natural gas, which accounts for about 48% of the world's hydrogen production. The process of extracting hydrogen from natural gas is called steam methane reforming. It involves heating and pressurizing natural gas to separate carbon dioxide from it and collect pure hydrogen gas. This process is relatively efficient, with a 70 to 85% conversion rate, but it also consumes a lot of energy and emits carbon dioxide as a byproduct. A more eco-friendly but expensive way of producing hydrogen is electrolysis. This process uses electricity to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Electrolysis does not produce any harmful emissions, but it requires costly metals and a lot of electricity. The efficiency of electrolysis is also lower than steam methane reforming, with a maximum of 60% conversion rate. Hydrogen may have a lot of energy in its atoms, but it also takes up a lot of space in its gas form. To transport and store hydrogen efficiently, it needs to be compressed or liquefied, which is not easy or cheap. Most of the hydrogen that is used in industries or vehicles is either produced on site or delivered by trucks with large gas cylinders. These cylinders have to withstand high pressures of 300 to 500 bars to hold enough hydrogen gas. Alternatively, hydrogen can be liquefied by cooling it down to minus 252.8 degrees Celsius, which requires a lot of energy and special equipment. Another challenge with hydrogen is its flammability. Hydrogen can ignite and burn when it mixes with oxygen or air, producing a faint flame that is hard to see. This makes hydrogen prone to fire accidents and explosions if not handled carefully. Power Pace is a new substance that can store hydrogen in a safe and convenient way. It is developed by a research team at the Fraunhofer Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Metals in Dresden, Germany. Power Paste is made of magnesium hydride, which is a compound of magnesium and hydrogen. To make power paste, magnesium is reacted with hydrogen under high temperature and pressure to form magnesium hydride. Then, an ester and a metal salt are added to make the paste more viscous and stable. Power paste can be stored in cartridges at normal pressure and temperature. It does not degrade or leak over time, and it can withstand temperatures up to 250 degrees Celsius. Power paste can release hydrogen energy by reacting with water in a special chamber. A plunger mechanism pushes the paste into the chamber, where it splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen then powers a fuel cell that generates electricity for the vehicle. 
The amazing thing is that half of the hydrogen comes from the water itself, so the power paste does not need to store as much hydrogen as other methods. Power paste can also be transported and refueled easily and safely. It can be stored in cartridges that can be swapped at service stations. It can also be delivered through standard fuel lines with low-cost equipment. It does not require high-pressure tanks or low-temperature liquefaction like gaseous or liquid hydrogen. It can be shipped in barrels or tankers to any location without any risk of fire or explosion. Power paste has a very high energy density compared to other sources of energy. It can store 10 times more energy than a lithium battery of the same weight and much more than a hydrogen gas tank of the same weight at 700 bar pressure. Power paste can also provide a longer range for vehicles than gasoline, batteries, or hydrogen gas. For example, a Tesla Model 3 with a long-range battery weighs about 1060 pounds and can travel 300 miles on a single charge. A hydrogen fuel tank with 8.5 gallons of gas weighs only 76 pounds and can travel 400 miles on a single fill. But a power paste cartridge with the same weight can travel 1800 miles on a single use. That's an amazing difference. Power paste may have a lot of advantages in terms of energy density and range, but it also has some drawbacks in terms of cost and convenience. Power paste is not very efficient compared to lithium ion batteries, which have a 90 to 95% conversion rate. Hydrogen fuel cells, on the other hand, have only a 60% conversion rate. This means that power paste users will need more fuel and spend more money than battery users. For example, an average American driver who travels 41 miles per day or 1200 miles per month will need to recharge a Tesla Model 3 four times per month, which will cost about $120 in the US. But a power paste vehicle will need twice as much fuel and money as a battery vehicle. Another challenge with power paste is the lack of infrastructure and availability. Battery vehicles can be recharged at home or at public stations using electricity from the grid or from solar panels. But power paste vehicles need to replace their cartridges at service stations or order them online. This can take time and effort and may not be accessible in remote areas. Power paste is a clean and convenient fuel that can be produced using renewable energy sources. It can also be distributed and used without much hassle or risk. The research team behind Power Paste is building a production plant at their facility that can make four tons of paste per year. The plant was supposed to open by the end of 2021, but we don't know if they have started selling their product yet. Power Paste may not be the best option for cars or trucks, but it could be very useful for other vehicles that need to reduce their weight and emissions. For example, power paste could power airplanes, drones, or underwater vehicles that cannot use batteries or fossil fuels. Power paste is lighter than batteries and cheaper than jet fuel or hydrogen gas. It could also provide a longer range and faster refueling for these vehicles. Power paste is a new substance that can store hydrogen safely and conveniently. It has 10 times more energy density than lithium batteries and can power various vehicles and devices. In this video, we have explained how power paste works, what are its benefits and challenges, and what are its potential applications and future plans. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something new and interesting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section. What do you think about power paste and hydrogen energy? Do you think they can replace fossil fuels or batteries in the future? Let me know your opinions and suggestions. I'll see you next time with another exciting topic.